Well, let's cover them up. There's Kathy. What? Yeah. Who's, who's Kathy? The catfish. You, catfish you catfish. named the catfish Kathy? Yep. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and, and we got a couple things that we need to talk about based off of the last video that we posted about Houston's Creek Monster. First, first thing we need to talk about, this is based off of your comments. Yes, I wear Crocs in the summertime. I rock the Crocs because they're perfect Creek shoes and I'm in the Creek all the time. Second, this might take a second. Give me just a second. Come here, Callie. Move, Bella. Move, Bella. Number two, this is Callie. Everyone said, who's that big white dog in the background? Well, you know, there's a reason you don't get to see Callie much. I mean, <laughs> Callie is our Great Pyrenees. She's our retired livestock guard dog. Now we've got this guy, but Callie here she's never gets a lot of attention. Well. Yeah, she's fine. She never gets a, a lot of attention because she doesn't demand attention like, you know, somebody else here. But Callie's a, a Great Pyrenees. Great Pyrenees are more, usually typically more of a standoffish breed. They, 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 uh, they have their job, they, they know what their job is, but and they're not really like huge people dogs. And when they find a person they like, they usually attach to one person. And this has always been Weston's dog. She's always loved Weston, but she's been a great dog. But old Callie here is about 11 years old. And Houston, stop, you're interrupting. And it's, I don't know if she'll let us see. It's starting to show, well, we're not gonna try to show. It's starting to show her teeth are getting real worn down and she's just, She's just getting really old and she doesn't really take off and chase us all over on our adventures like the other dogs do. Sometimes she'll follow down to the creek when I have the kids with me, but if it's just me, she's not going. So what were you wanting to say? And three, something sad happened with our crawdad. It died. Yeah. So everyone in the comments said, we're talking about our little pond that we mm. made over here. Houston, Houston's a little upset. We lost our crawfish. All the fish are still alive. But our little pond on the patio, as I said in the last video, that was temporary. Today we're gonna use black, cause that's what we got. And if it goes well, we may switch them over to a clear sided plastic tote. We didn't have all of our equipment yet, but that day we did get a bubbler to put in the water. So they had oxygen, they had food, and we put a lid over the top of it to protect it from the sun and to keep Bella from laying in it. But we've relocated and upgraded and moved the pond to a different place. You wanna show them real quick? Here's our little pond. We upgraded with um, some different rocks and we got our bubbler right here. Mm -hmm. And all the fish are under the rock. All the fish like to oh. hide under the rock, huh? Here, let's. So we made a bridge. Looky there. All the fish are still alive. Well, let's cover them up. There's Kathy. What? Yeah. Who's, who's Kathy? The catfish. You, catfish. you named the catfish Kathy? Yep. And there you go. That's our little pond. Our little fish pond? Yeah. So now we've got a bubbler in here. This is under the porch, as you can see. So it will stay shaded all day. The water will stay cool. We don't have a filter system yet, but we'll probably just go to Walmart and get a little aquarium filter to hang on the side. But at least with this clear tub, Houston can see his fish in there now. If you can't see it. So this is just an experiment. Okay. We're learning. We have no idea why our big crawfish died. He was yeah. huge, but he, he pretty much died the first day. He no, didn't the make, second day. Well, he didn't make it a full 24 hours. So that's one full day. So, um, the, you know, we built the little fish pond yeah. and the next morning he was alive. And then a couple hours later, he was just dead. I think there's a good possibility possibility that him and the little catfish didn't get along. They may not have been good pond mates, I guess you could say. I, I don't think the catfish tried to eat it because they were the same size, but Emma. they probably butted heads and that, that may be my guess, or he could have just been stressed out. But all the fish are alive. Anywho, while we were catching all these fish and uh, 
getting everything set up for this, showing it on the last video. So many people were like, man, it's really cool to see what all is in your pond. Look at I'm sorry, in rock. your creek. Look at all the fish that... Look at this rock. You're interrupting. They can't see it, buddy. It's blurry. Everyone kept saying, Houston, we love to see what all kinds of little fish and critters are in your creek. So we're going to go set out, uh, mm -hmm. what do we got, like, four different traps, minnow yeah. traps and crawfish traps, yeah. and let those sit out for a few hours, and then we'll pull them all in and show you guys what all we catch today. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, let's go pull them out. Hey. Who's that guy? <laughs> he don't live here. Who's that? Our cousin. Cousin? <laughs> I don't even think he's your cousin. It's not even related to it. That's just your friend Jacoby. Somebody, hey Jacoby, somebody left a comment on our channel the other day and it said, you got to bring back Jacoby. We never see him anymore. Where's Jacoby? He never says anything. He just giggles. <laughs> so we're down at the creek. We're going to try this in a little different area down here. This is a little slower moving water. It's a little dirtier than down by the driveway because the dam backs the water up. The dam above our slab crossing kind of backs the water up here so it's a little deeper a little slower moving but we haven't put traps out in this area at all this year so we're going to try something different and uh, we got three different kinds of traps set up here i'm gonna let houston show them to you and show you how they work we're going to be baking them out with uh bread and, and bacon. bacon crawfish crawdads whatever you want to call them love bacon, bacon. we want to catch more of those and then the bread's just to get the sunfish bluegill perch whatever you Catfish. call those Oh. Maybe a catfish. That's so let's let Houston show you the so different kinds of traps. These are one of the kinds of traps. How does it work? Show it's us how it works. It's real simple. Hold it up. So like the fish are over here and they will just go like choo. So they go in that little funnel right there, huh? Yeah. And then so when they go in, they just can't figure out how to get out, right? No. Okay. Show us that other square one right there. That one's more of a crawfish trap. Yeah. Here, you got the lid closed, or you got the lid open on it right now. There's the lid. So how does a crawfish go in there when the lid's closed? Um, it'll just go Okay, right so there's, there. there's a ramp. So the crawfish crawls up that ramp and goes in that hole. And once they go down inside there, they can't get back out, right? No. Okay. So the last one's the coolest one. I, this one came from Battle Box when we had a subscription to Battle Box. And uh, it's a pretty cool little thing and it catches this one catches the most fish by far look at that so easy oh, told you it wasn't big a seven year old can do it so this one's expandable it reminds me of those one of those little things when i was a little kid that opened up and you put over your picnic plate like when you're eating uh, uh, at a picnic you never saw those because they weren't around for you so this one's pretty neat the fish just there's openings all the way around it and the fish swim inside of it and Sometimes. they're trapped in Sometimes the fish will get out sometimes. All right, well, let's go throw these traps in the water and see if we can catch anything. Wait, yeah. first, we need to put some bait in them. We don't have a string for that one. That's the bacon. There's more bacon in here. <laughs> Chubby, you pick them. All right, Emily, that one there that's got bacon and bread, let's go put it like maybe in the shade around or up against one of those brush piles around those trees. Wow. Maybe see if it's deep enough. See if it's deep enough to sit in the water right there. Go a little farther out. There may be, that may be a good spot for, for crawdads and all kinds of little varmints. Mine. What are you gonna do with that one? Go take it out. You're gonna take it out far? Let it sink down. Alright, Kobe. Just chunk that one out here in the water. Alright. You gonna remember where it's at? Yeah. Huh? We gotta hear you say something, Kobe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Emily. Emily's got her crawfish trap up there. Let's see. Let's find a good spot for that. Look at all that. You can see the creek looks a lot different here. It's it looks it's just not as pretty because the water's not flowing as fast. But 
that's because that like i said earlier that dam backs the water up in here which makes it a lot deeper in this little area in here you can't see them right now but it is filled with perch beds sunfish bluegill whatever you want to call them they're little beds they're nests where they spawn they just make a real clean little circle in the gravel so i know this is loaded with sunfish in here uh oh my foot sucks oh y'all gotta get out of the, the suction cup mud <laughs> i'm not even sinking all right this looks like a good spot for a crayfish or a crawdad trap we're gonna put it in about a foot of water close to all this these nasty leaves and sticks and stuff that gives them a place to hide and this has got bacon and bread and we'll put it sort of the ramp well you can't see because of my hand we'll put it so that the ramp goes up and they have to walk up that ramp to get in there, so. All right, all done. Let's go catch some minnows so we can put some little teeny tiny minnows in with the crop and with the uh, catfish. It got deeper. Dude, why are you carrying your shoe? You're supposed to wear them. Hey, hold on. Yeah. Jimma, Jimma, Jimma. So the other day when we were at the slab, I noticed there were a ton of little bitty small minnows. So we're gonna go try to catch some of them while we let our traps soak. And we'll put those little bitty minnows in the little aquarium fish pond, whatever you want to call it, so that maybe the catfish won't be quite so uh, aggressive towards the bluegill. There they are. They're much harder to see now that everything's in the shade. Come down here during the sunny part of the day when the sun's directly overhead and you can see those little guys a lot better. But I think those would be great food for our catfish. All right, Emily. Yes. You think you can catch any of these minnows? Yes. You can't even see them, can you? Yes, right there. I know where the spots are. Hang on. Nothing? Nothing. Wait! Can we keep him? He's itty bitty. We'll put him in there. Yeah! Now the catfish might eat that guy. He's pretty small. He is really... Okay, he can go put water in the bucket. Here we go. Let him go. You didn't even catch that. He's found over here. These, these little, these hey, Bear. These little... Bear. Bear. Nah, nothing. Ah, what? I got one that time. Oh, good. Here, hold the net. Net there. Oh, good job. Hold him up, Jacoby. Oh, oh, oh. grab him. Put him in the bucket. It looks like a tuna. Looks like a baby tuna. Let me steal them. Oh yeah. Let's go put them in the bucket. Bear, you watching over everybody up here? Hmm. You keeping an eye out on everybody? Good boy. Hey, I caught one. I had two. Yeah, some of them fit through those holes pretty easy. Oh. How many we got in the bucket? Six um, little minnows and one crawdad. Let's see if we can find some more crawdad. Okay, they're probably. Let's go crawdad hunting. Oh, there went a crawfish. There he is, right there. Don't put your shadow on him. Don't put your shadow on him. Oh. Here, put him in my net. That is why we were so excited about that giant creek monster crawfish because that's usually what we find in our creek a little minnow and there's a crow oh. hey 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 dang kobe all right you got him look at there Good you job. jumped the gun and moved your net too soon go put it yeah. up there go there's one in the bucket well there's our minnow haul and crawfish 
as I said, you can see why we made such a big deal out of that giant crawfish the other day. Because these little guys <laughs> just aren't much. Bella, you don't want to do that. That's the typical size crawfish, or crawdad as we call them in Oklahoma, in our creek. So the other one was a Mondo Super Creek Giant Monster huge thing, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got lots of minnows to feed the catfish, and I think the bluegill will probably eat some of those, and then that catfish, will, he'll love, I mean, there's some little bitty crawfish in here too. So, good food for the pond. All right, Bella, you carry the bucket. Bella, here, you carry the bucket. Come on. Bella. All right, Gemma, you ready to race? Here we go. Let's race. Every day. Here we go. Here's what we have to do. Are you tired, Bella? Look. Huh? Yeah. All right, we made it back to our new little fish pond. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Daddy. Let him go. Just turn the net upside down. There you go. Okay, can I catch another one? I'm gonna take that bubbler out of there for a minute so we can see what's going on. You caught some. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can get our big fish to come out. Hey, look at there. They like to hide under that rock. Oh. Got a crawdad. Can you get them out, Houston? You can put some rocks in there, Houston. There's some rocks. All right, Houston, what do you think about your little pond? Awesome. You like this? Yes, this is awesome. Is this what you wanted? Yes. We got to get a filter. That's the only thing we're missing now. We got our ear stone, which we'll put it back in there in a minute. <laughs> we're just, crawdad. we took it out so the water was calm. Yeah, I see that crawdad. Oh, okay. So we got crawfish, little bitty crawfish. We got little bitty minnows. We got our bluegill. Houston's got his catfish in there. No, my sister's. Oh yeah, Kathy the catfish, right? Yeah. I'm gonna name that little crawdad right there, um, little Pinterest. Well, what are you going to do if the catfish eats that little crawdad right there? I'll name a different one. Okay. So, um, we got all the traps out and we'll pull them all up and oh. we'll put them all in this bucket and show them to you. Just to see what all we caught? Show yes. everybody what we caught? We got plenty of minnows for, for your well, fish pond. Well, can we keep a few crawdads? We'll see. Depends on if we catch a giant crawdad. So, let's go over here and check our crawdad trap first over here. I'm going to pull it up first, okay? We usually let our crawdad trap set overnight because they're going to be more active during the dark. But we'll see what we'll see what we caught. You never know; we might get lucky. I can't get it. I can't get it. Get in the water. Oh, got it. Let's see. Is there anything in there? No. That trap's empty, huh? Yep. All right, let's leave it here and let it set overnight, okay? Ah, spider. Put it back out there. Can you see the string? Here, Jacoby, let's let's get this one first, Houston. Then we'll get the other two. You can get the other two, Cope. I bet there's some fish in that one, Houston. What do you think? Oh, oh, that thing is big. All right, let's go put him in the tub. Oh. That's a big guy. That is a green sunfish. Ooh. Be still. Be still. A green sunfish. Oh no, it's bleeding. Yeah, he's bleeding a little bit. Something got after him. You dogs leave that fish alone. Alright, Kobe. Is there anything in that one? Hey. 
Yup. Hey, Kobe caught some. All right, let's go put them in our bucket, see what we caught. All right, put them in the tub. Looks like we got three little bluegill. Perfect bait size right there. Mm, yeah, buddy. Catch a big old bass on that guy. What'd you catch? Yeah. Turn around. Let's see. One more bluegill. All right. Let's go put him in the bucket. Yeah. That's it. Little bluegill are pretty little fish. Watch out, Gemma. He's bleeding a little bit. So we didn't we didn't catch it a whole lot too exciting. Just what do we got? Four little bluegill and a very pretty green sunfish. All right, boys, y'all want to let them go? No. Well, we are letting them go. I'm gonna put this one away. Mm. Let him go. You want to go, buddy. Let him go. There he goes. Not too bad to turn All him right. In. Kobe, you letting the little ones go? Yeah. Eh, Careful. So that was a little disappointing. We didn't catch any crawfish, but you know we put our traps out about 10 o'clock in the morning and come back about 12:30 in the afternoon. So the crawfish probably aren't real active during the day. We're gonna leave them out overnight. Maybe we'll catch some big old crawfish, and Houston will get him another giant creek monster. But uh, that about wraps up the video for today. Um, a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun down here on the creek. It's so, it's just a blast. Really? Could you do that somewhere else, please? <laughs> All right. We're going to get our stuff packed up, go back to the house. We got stuff to do this evening. Almost got water dumped on me. So, anyways, you boys want to end this video for us? Have you ever... Have you at if you haven't subscribed go down there and smash that like button and ring the notification bell and hit the smack the subscribe button We're gonna have to work on that. You're, you're so out of practice on that, but you're doing good. You're doing good Everybody says Houston needs to start his own fish channel like well, I Houston's am. Creek Adventures. Wait, no, we're not. I'm I'm, I'm still piggybacking piggybacking off of your good skills but so. if i get my youtube channel then y'all y'all all of y'all out there that watch me y'all have to go to my youtube channel so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoy it and see you on the next video peace mm -hmm.